And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for this awesome combination of champions. We're going to be playing Katarina and Lux together with our next viewer submitted donation deck. This deck is from the same person who made the Katarina Shen deck that we played two days ago that was pretty awesome. This time we're combining Katarina with Lux. You know, with Lux we have uh, the Remembrance, Unyielding Spirit, that awesome uh, kind of package of cards with Lux. And then uh, we're kind of combining that with um, a bunch of good mid-range cards in Noxus and Demacia together. And Katarina acts again as our top end card because we don't really have very much card draw at all. We have a couple of Vanguard Redeemers, but you know, not, not very much card draw. We can use um, Katarina's in the late game whenever we have a lot of excess mana to continually rally whenever we play it. Um, our decks should be pretty good against aggro. We got all three Radiant Guardians and um, you know our single combats to combo with those, plus just like some other uh, decent blockers and removal spells and stuff like that. So we should be pretty good against aggro. Um, you know, and so we got that covered and we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, just play some games. Let's give it a try and see. We got some, a couple of Mage Seeker Conservators that create uh, some six cost spells in hand for us. That also helps um, level up our Lux as well. I could see this deck being like a back to back deck. Maybe playing a back to back or two. Maybe instead of a, a Laurent Blade Keeper. Maybe. As just another six mana spell for Lux. I could see that. We'll, we'll uh, play the the deck as is, but that's something to kind of think about as we play. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked, like we always do, and see how it goes with some Katarina Lux. Maybe use that Blade's Edge to take some things down. Alright, Deep Sea Monsters. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so I, while I could go Fleet Feather Tracker, maybe we should just have turn three Remembrance. Because um, if I go Tracker, I'm still not doing anything on turn two. Um, and, okay, so I guess I would add Tracker on two. Just the power of Remembrance is probably going to be better. I want to hit this... Out, I think. I think we want Great Horn Companion, so we get to attack twice. So Great Horn Companion. No, I thought that was it. Flooding guts, golden glory. <clears throat> That's kind of rough. That's a lot of damage to the Vanguard Cavalry. All right, there's Katarina. Harvey, what are you doing? My dog is just licking the table leg. Silly doggo. All right, so they have Vile Feast in hand. Definitely have Vile Feast. Kill Lux, or does she level up first? Um, it's a good question. I don't. Uh, I would. I don't know. I guess if you cast your own reckoning, 
You had to have another five power thing out. I would I would think it would not kill Lux. I would think that Lux would level up whenever it's cast before it resolves. So I would think that the answer would be no, it does not that it does not kill Lux. I don't usually like playing Katarina early, and so maybe I should just be banking the spell mana for these. Uh, that was not what I was expecting. I was expecting a Vile Feast. So they have, like, Withering Whale. Okay, so I can either use single combat or whirling death. I don't know which one is better to save, single combat or whirling death. leveled up Katarina for later. Good card against Maokai. If I don't play anything, they could just pass, and that would kind of be bad for me, so I guess I need to play something. I really don't want them to pass. No, the Radiant Guardian. That was the worst thing to hit. Alright, thank you, Storm. Thanks for joining in. Have a good night. Was your donation deck new bloco? I mean, it's possible I did. I don't. What, what was your donation deck? Never. Twisted fate, misfortune. Uh, I think I did miss that. I don't remember a Twisted Fate Misfortune. So I'm, I'm, yeah, I kind of think that I did. The unworthy. I'm sorry, I got a lot of, like, donation decks in a small period of time kind of recently, and so yeah, I, I think I, I missed yours, I'm sorry. I'm yes, they're staying at, uh, gain three life while they're at 20, the so stay there. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. So next turn we'll have 12 mana total, so I'll have Lux plus six. 
So Lux plus six. I, yeah, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter if I played th this thing or not. I don't think it's worth playing around Ruination, honestly. There's definitely a chance they have it, but I don't think I don't think that I'm going to be doing very well if they do have Ruination, and I don't think I can just sit around. Like, their deck has a great late game. I don't think I can just sit around and, um, you know, and wait. I think I'm supposed to just play my stuff. So yeah, can you can you send me the list again, New Bloco? Send, send it to me in a whisper if you can. Um, just click on, if you don't know how to whisper, just click on my name there. And then that's an option. Dang. Triple Wander. They're, they got plenty of lifesteal. Go grab a pen. Write it down. Let's brighten up their day. Or our allies. So glad they blocked. Oh right, this 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 just strikes the one way. It doesn't. Um, it's not single combat. I don't have to worry about the shield going away. I've been hiding my life too long. So I could have just done that first, because I was risking if they just made no blocks, then I wasn't going to be able to play that. Nautilus. That thing is too big. Too big. You don't know what you're doing. Noxian Guillotine could have been a great draw, though. We'll see. I wanted them to play another sea monster, and then I block that with Conservator also. And then we would be able to turn on double Guillotine. Um... I guess I just guillotine now, though. Sweet. Did we win? Yeah, if they would have had, like, another sea monster that, uh, you know, like the 4-4 four four that turns into a 7-7, seven seven, and we got to block that also, put a spell in our hand, guillotine both, get a final spark, that could have been nice. Because we wouldn't have really had anything to do with the final spark, but. Um, opponent just conceding. Also, pretty nice. So we'll take that. A Katarina Mirror. Okay, transfusion out of here. Right? Yeah. Good draw. That I would have rather had. You know, I'd like to have the transfusion. If I knew they were drawn Crimson Disciple. Um, pass. Tracker is pretty valuable whenever, especially like whenever your opponent's playing three two champions. Pretty power. It's pretty. Uh, um, it's pretty useful to have a 2-1 challenger against the 3-2 champion. Okay. 
Nandi, hit Masters with the Noxus Elusive deck from yesterday. Way to go. Way to hit Masters. Great job. That deserves some hype votes. How am I feeling about Heimerdinger Fate? I I think I kind of want to change a few things in it. So yeah, make sure you're, you're here, Dewan, for your deck. I wanted to talk about maybe changing a couple of things in there. Um, I really just want to play Vanguard Redeemer and draw a card. I'll probably regret this. Like, they're probably just going to play Zed. And then they'll have a bunch of protection for Zed, and my single combat doesn't kill it, and then I re regret it. I walk my path alone. Yeah, or Solitary Monk. Okay, at least Solitary Monk we couldn't kill with the tracker anyway. Do not hear the shrouded path. Why is that? Because you walk your path alone? Man, Twin Disciplines is such a, such a problem. You're welcome, Thorwolf. Yeah, have, have fun at work. It'll be up on YouTube later on. All right, so I want to do the blocking first. Before, you know, we'll get the block first, so like Twin Disciplines. Um, they use it to save Zed. Or Elixir of Wrath. That would make me feel even worse. <laughs> War Mother's Call. That's not one you, you see very often. Okay. Cool. Oh, your Lux just died to a Reckoning? It was, was it your own Reckoning? If it was your opponent's Reckoning, then of course it's definitely going to die because, you know, it's not leveling up. Cause it's, but it, so your Reckoning killed... Your own reckoning, huh? Well, thanks for thanks for uh, doing that for science. I thought it was going to be the. I thought it was not going to die, but I guess it did. And I'm sorry about that. So my bad. Pledge yourself to the shadows. If they don't break, they'll burn. Probably a transfusion. Would be my guess would be the reason to play this first. No, okay. Gonna be a close game. It's not great. I 
Never mind. Dead. Okay, cool. You're just playing against the AI and testing that out. That's smart. Good finishing part there for a surprise nine damage. Uh, yeah, good, good finishing closeout there for the opponent. Those elusives, like they'll they'll get you. One mana, two one elusives. Those will get you. I wish with that hand I would have mulliganed the other Vanguard Redeemer, especially since we drew one. Wish I would have mulliganed one. Well, this is pretty fine. Ow. I'll try anyone. Uh, which region should you work on first the for the region rewards? Um, that that kind of go depend. That's really not that important. Depend you know, you can kind of go wherever you want to go. What I what I do recommend is I I do not, or I would say don't just uh, don't just like take one region and then uh, uh, work on that one region the whole time and level up that region, um, you know, to level twenty. I guess what is it twenty five now, and then go to the next region. Don't do that because your rewards do. You know, it takes a lot more XP to get from level sixteen to seventeen, for example, than from level six to seven, and. One, uh, once you hit level 8, you get a champion capsule, which is really valuable. And so what you should do is take whatever region you want, uh, level it up to level 8, get that champion capsule, go to your next region, level it up to level 8. Because, you know, you level up those other regions faster. Um... For the honor of my house. Let's pump up this Fleet Feather Trekker. Okay, Dewan says to do it by fours. I, I kind of recommend going to eight and then going to the next and just... that's At least that's what I did. I went to eight for each one, then like 16 for each one. After that. Uh... You could have another spell and cancel out the single combat. No, okay. But that works. Morphis. Oh, you got them all to twelve so far. So then, yeah, you're doing good. Just get 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 the champion capsules for each one. Like your next your next part. Just keep getting those champion capsules. Did they just do pick a card? So they're gonna draw a whole lot of cards next turn. I think I need to uh, Concerted Strike to kill a Fizz when I'm holding a Fleet Feather Tracker. I got a lot of cards. That's a lot of cards over there. A lot of them are fleeting. Is that all? Um... 
Don't have not having anything die for these redeemers. Remember the fall. Still just gonna play one. Nice. Wasted three of those. All three cards from pick a card. Gone. And Katarina's really nice with that blade's edge. Strength in grace. Beauty in the blade. Beauty in the blade. Alright, well now now blade's edge not mattering so much. Let's go stun. I shouldn't have stunned. I should they need to play another spell, but I guess they would have they had the burst spell. Yeah, they had the burst spell anyway. Hope this works. All right, GG's. Two and one with Katarina Lux. Keep our 1099 form. <clears throat> Two and one. Sweet and salty, he calls them. Has anybody ever dipped an orange into the ocean? I can't say that I have. Anybody, anybody done that? Because I... Certainly can't say that I have. Uh, do we just go Remembrance? Yeah, let's go turn three Remembrance. Maybe I want Mage Seeker Conservator for turn four, be able to play this and play something else. Like maybe we just have Conservator with Transfusion. Like they're gonna be an aggressive strat. Um, it's not that bad for turn four. The Conservator that is. So yeah, I guess I'll just keep those two to do. Okay, well now we have the Crimson Disciple, which is just kind of better. What do you got? Tough Scout. Tough Scout. Deny? 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 It's Draven time! Oh, good time. Hmm. I guess I'm just gonna go Katarina Blades Edge, take out the Grenadier with Blades Edge, and take some damage. Ouch. Hey TK. Happy Saturday. Okay, okay. That card's pretty good against Spinning Axe. Oh, uh, wait. No, it's not. Sad. I'll try anyone. <clears throat> Take a look at this. My attack's not that great. I like having them waste mana. <clears throat> Whoa. Hmm. Search that. Ah, 
that's a good card to grab. If they have if they have might, I lose. Ugh. It did have might. I thought about that. Um, I guess I don't lose lose. Uh, I'm just gonna have to do some single combating. Okay, well, we don't lose, so that's good. Yeah, not losing is good. Ooh. Locks, you say. We can do this! We sure can. Rude. turn. Do not fear the shrouded path. I walk your path. Alright, so if I play Lux, I only have four mana. <sighs> Lux is a good blocker, though. to untap with Lux and then have Vengeance, uh, which goes Vengeance plus. Um... Dang. That's scary. Dang, that's scary. Yeah, Culling Strike's not, not that great in the face of Spinning Axe. I'm likely going to... This is, my choice. This is me staying at 1. I mean, it's my only block I can make. I'm likely going to have to Culling Strike the Shadow Assassin. The thing is, if they're smart, they'll do the the spinning axe on the shadow assassin. Now we're cooking. And then, and then, with without discarding the other one, and then I'd have no options. Okay, so dodge the bullet there. Lux is at three out of six. I wish I could cast, you know, like I wish I could cast a three mana spell and get a get a final spark and then play one of these and get another final spark. That would be ideal, but it's not it's not how it goes. Not ideal. So I'll play this. During my turn, I'll save the Vengeance for their turn when they're attacking. My and yeah, we could play the cat. I'm kind of just holding these up first. Let's see. Like, like playing cat while you have the attack token isn't the isn't the best use of cat. Usually, want to play cat after you, your attack token goes away. 
Oh no! No, we were about to turn the corner. But let's say that that would have happened and I would have killed that thing. Then, then we get to attack with our Great Horn Companion. Maybe they don't block it. And then we get to attack again with Great Horn Companion and maybe Lux. Like maybe we just attack with both of them. And then, and then after that, we could play the cat, get another attack step, attack again. You know, like we would, we would have had three attacks there with some, some big stuff. Dang. Good game, though. Good game. Sajwani Vladimir. New hand. All right, better. Katarina is not a card to keep in your opener, like ever. You just always mulligan Katarina. It's a, it's a real good late game champion. But don't need Katarina right away. And then without the other early things. I don't, don't really want Van, uh, Vanguard Redeemer either. Yeah, the guillotine has... Yeah, the guillotine's probably just the wrong removal spell. I, I agree. Guillotine does not look good. We don't we don't have enough things to do damage to them. I think we could have the I'll try anyone. We're gonna play just Death's Hand, Noxion Fervor. Oh, this hurts. Or have make that back to back. Yeah, the gate. I don't like the gate scene at all. Yeah, we have the Blade's Edge. That's that's. I don't want to play Blade's Edge early. <laughs> you know, like again, and usually I'm not unless it's killing something. So I can trade both of these. Nah. Slow down, will you? Will ya? Let me show you what I can do. All right, so they got a they got a Yeti coming here pretty soon. Probably a six six Yeti, one mana six six. That's a little rough. There's one mana six six. Could just pass. I want them to attack and then I remembrance. Attack out with everything? Oh, that's a surprise. So 20 is at 1 out of 5. I mean, I could go Vanguard Redeemer and draw a card instead of Remembrance. But we're going to Remembrance. 
In case we hit Radiant Guardian, of course. Alright, not bad. Lux. Yeah, ranked is, is kind of bugged right now. We don't know what they drew with. We don't know what they drew with Babbling Bjerg. Could have been this enraged Yeti, I suppose. Uh, it's probably that. It's probably that Hearth Guard. So tough call here. I want to play Lux. So I can have Lux for Battle Fury, but I also want to play this Radiant Guardian. We'll be able to play that Radiant Guardian anyway. Let's play Lux. You own what you take. Darn. Uh, I mean, I'd rather kill Sejuani. I guess I have to block here, though. Just saves a lot more life to block there. Battle Fury. Yeah, I'm just taking too much damage, I think, that if I if I block the Sejuani and then finish off Sejuani with a laser. Because they would have dealt... Basically, they would have dealt the same five, but then they would have done another four with the Overwhelm, so we'd be at five instead of being at nine. This is a pretty ugly hand. Need back to back, not Blade Keeper. That's a pretty ugly hand. Could be another Sejuani, in which case they would have a Fury of the North to have this thing trade with my Lux if I attack. Um, which would not be good for me, for obvious reasons. Still even just attacking now and them turning this into one health, also not really that good. be important. Look out there. Thursday. Never back down from what you believe. <laughs> Aurora Porealis. That card's good with Lux, you know, like it this is this is two triggers with Lux. Carved from the savage cold. Mm. 
Remember the fallen. Ah, I did have Culling Strike. I thought I'd maybe casting this Porealis to get the... Um, get the laser if they did have Culling Strike. Not a bad card to draw also, the single combat. All right, just one card in hand. I hope it's not a trick. Yeah, I hope it's not a spell. I hope it's just a unit. Real tough, aren't you? Let's get a good look at you. Good. That works. Oh, it said Juani leveled up. Solves everything. Oh, four out of five. Woo. Good. I love a man with style. Heard it all. Hmm. Beauty in the blade. Beauty in the blade. <clears throat> All right, don't have the attack token. All right, well, fighting here. Getting Sejuani out here. Well fought. All right, so this is looking pretty good now. Now we got these Katarinas. Um, got some Poro snacks. And some random Poros. No, I wanted to play Aurora Porealis. No. All right, so there we go. Three and two. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. Yeah, I think I think Guillotine is our worst card. I, I don't think that... Yeah, I don't think this is a good guillotine deck at all. Um, could play a lot of different things. Could play a Purify. There's a whole lot of... Like, honestly, I like Purify right now because there's a whole lot of They Who Endure running around. Um, so playing Purify because of because of They Who Endure could be nice. And then plus, um, besides that, there's a lot of like those Sejuani decks that are using... Um, you know, using pump effects with Avros and Hearthguard or Omen Hawk, but then also like Fury of the North. I mean, I know it doesn't work on the champion, but just like those kind of decks. Um, Purify is actually kind of sweet right now. Mostly because of like these um, They Who Endure decks that are everywhere. So yeah, what am I to Purify? Um, the other card though is back to back. What am I to back to backs? I would, I would play... Let, let's just say we turn that into a Purify, get rid of a Blade Keeper, and play a back-to-back. Back-to-back's um, -back pretty awesome. Especially when you're playing stuff like Crimson Disciple. It makes it even better. I'll play one back-to-back, -back, at least. I could see cutting a Transfusion and playing another one over a Transfusion, honestly. But... I'd say, like, bare minimum, I'd, I'd change those two little things, though, just to start with, though. I'd get rid of one Blade Keeper for a back-to-back -back and get rid of that Noxian Guillotine and maybe play a Purify. You could go, you know, there's there's a lot of other spells you can play instead if you don't want Purify. Um, I wouldn't mind having, like, a Prismatic Barrier. I'll protect that Lux a little bit. Um, you could also go with a Fervor or a Death, you know, Fervor to respond to their removal. But that's kind of what single combat is anyway. Could go with a Death's Hand um, in that spot. Could just go with like another sentry. Well, the thing is, I wouldn't mind war chefs. I don't know if we could fit war chefs in here, but war chefs is also awesome. Uh, two silence is a tad greedy, but not not terrible. But yeah, that's a tad greedy. If you if you're in a spot where you are playing against a bunch of they who endure, then yeah, go ahead and go with a second purify. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, so there we go. That's Katarina Lux. Cool stuff here. A lot, of, a lot of different cards you can play depending on you know what you want to play. But I would recommend a back to back and probably Purify instead of that other card. Yep, you can also, yeah, they Frostbite something of yours. You can Purify it. It does not, again, it doesn't, it only works on followers though, but you can target your own thing with Purify. So, but you can't target, you know, if they uh, Frostbite your Lux, you're out of Lux. Eh. Eh. All right, sorry, that was too. All right, anyway. <laughs> Uh, that's Katarina Lux. Those y'all watching on YouTube, y'all know the drill. Hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments as well. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.